On February 12th, the world will be watching Vancouver, Canada as the 2010 Winter Olympics open at BC Place Stadium. But on February 7th, the world was watching the 2010 Poverty Olympics at the Japanese Hall in the downtown east side as media from Germany, France, China and the host country Canada came to see the satirical protest to end poverty. <laughs> Organizer Trish Garner said this year's Poverty Olympics, the third, will be its last. But this time, it included a torch relay, which is a carrying of a plunger, throughout several communities in BC to highlight poverty outside the Olympic City. And I think that's why we've been building a lot of public support, because people are feeling the pinch of the Olympics. People are actually experiencing the money being taken away from their schools, from their health care, from their social services. People are experiencing that right now. Vancouver City Councillor Ellen Woodsworth said the worldwide attention can only be a good thing to solve the problem. You know, when you have a city that's the number one city of the world and you have hundreds of people homeless, and despite the fact the city opening seven shelters, all seven of those shelters will close on April the 30th. We're the only G8 country that doesn't have a national home, it does, doesn't have a national housing plan. This is outrageous. The most blatant, tripping infraction of these Organizers of the 2010 Poverty Olympics and their supporters say this is just one of many events happening throughout the city during the Olympic month to draw attention to the problems of the Olympic City. Bob Mackin, 24 Hours, Vancouver.